Yo, what is going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 19 card review. Today we're going to be going over 99 overall signature series Paul Goldschmidt. This card was obtainable through headliners packs like so many of the other signature series players that I've reviewed and he's no longer obtainable that way so the only way to get him is through the marketplace right now and he's currently selling for around 50,000 stubs. So with that being said, I'll get right into the card review and wow this card was absolutely incredible for me. <clears throat> um, this card homered in about once every eight plate appearances which is insanely high. <laughs> That's an absurd amount of power um, especially given his stats he doesn't look like he'd have that much crazy power but this card absolutely rakes. I don't know if it's his swing or why or <laughs> there's a lot of guys that I review I just don't understand why they're good and this is one of them. Um, this card hits righties fine and he destroys lefties um, and the 78 vision didn't even seem to hurt him that much. I always say for some reason I feel like some guys have smaller or bigger PCIs than other guys with similar vision. I still haven't figured out why but this is one of those guys who never seem to have a tiny PCI at least like not minuscule and 78 vision is pretty low so um, I don't know this card just rakes and obviously the 89 fielding is outstanding he made some plays that not a lot of other guys can make at first base or that I've seen um, he was making like Keith Hernandez level defensive plays which is pretty awesome and then the 64 speed for a first baseman is obviously pretty fast so I mean all things considered this card is almost a five tool player I mean I'm astounded at how good this card is uh, I have to consider putting him on the bench for on the main squad I mean let's just look at his stats you can't see home runs with my face cam but he hit 459 with a 1437 OPS I mean what is there to say <laughs> most of my games were on Hall of Fame not legend so maybe the vision hurts you more on legend but man this card destroys the ball um, you'll see in the highlights after this just home runs and doubles galore uh, this, this card's crazy good guys um, so as always we'll rate the card how it rates in the meta and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs so how he is in the meta I'm gonna actually give him an A minus I think that he's not as good as Frank and Lou but he's right underneath them I mean that's how good I think this card is um, and compared to how much he costs I'll give him an A because he's cheaper than Lou and 50k for a guy that hits this well is really amazing like if you're um, if you're not a Lou Gehrig fan and you're looking for a right-handed first baseman and you haven't picked up Frank Thomas yet this should be your number one option so I hope you guys enjoyed this card review let me know who you want me to review next down in the comments section below. Enjoy the clips after this, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.